Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and this is Beautiful You Wig Reviews. I'm so glad that you're here today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that bell and then you'll never miss any of my wig related videos. I'm bringing you this review today for PinkyPromise.com. Go to the Pinky Promise website and sign up to receive their emails and you will get a code for 30% off. You can also email support at PinkyPromise.com if you ever have any wig related questions. So I'm excited to bring you this style. I am so surprised by <laughs> how much I love this new style. This is Pike Place by Belle Tress, and the color on this one is Butterbeer Blonde. And I'm just loving the, the length and this really subtle wave pattern going through this. I think it's very pretty and very flattering. So can't wait to tell you more about it in just a minute. Okay, let's get started talking about Pike Place by Beltress in Butterbeer Blonde. So, uh, like I said, I've, I'm really pleased with this style. I love how she just has you know, a little bit of wave at the very ends, giving her a little bit of movement. I had seen some pictures of her on other people and she looked like she was fuller. So that's why I'm saying I was pleasantly surprised when I took her out of the box and she still has the low, you know, Beltress density and everything, which I really, really like. Um, you know, definitely no permatease or anything like that. Um, and this cap is an average cap, so there's just a little extra room. I pulled the adjusters in just a little bit for my petite head, and it fits me really nicely. So I just think she's really, really pretty, and this wave pattern right at the face, at least on this particular wig, is very, very flattering. So I really, really like her. Okay, I will do a turn so you can see her all the way around, and then we'll get into her measurements and all that stuff. So here she is from the front. Here's my left. The back. All right, and back to the front. Okay, so measurement wise, she has a side measurement that they say is 11 and a half to 15 inches. So there's a little bit of layering that comes in there, as you can see, a little bit of layering, a little bit of layering, but um, you know, a lot of, she's mostly one length, that longest length there is going to be, you know, an 11 and a half inch or the shortest, excuse me, length is going to be 11 and a half inches. So you can see she, you know, doesn't have any short choppy layers or anything like that. Um, her measurement in the back is 14 and a half to 15 inches and her nape is seven and a half inches. So nice nape, very, very manageable nape. Um, weight wise, it says that she's 5.2 ounces. That sounds a little high to me, but um, she certainly She's lightweight. Don't don't worry about those <laughs> ounces, honestly. Sometimes I don't even feel like I want to say the ounces because, I don't know, it makes it sound like the wig's heavy or something, and this wig is light as a feather on my head. So, you know, don't worry about that. Okay, so she is a lace front with a left mono part. So there's your lace front. Had kind of a struggle with this part. I had to use my rat tail comb and keep going through it, going through it. And then I had to dampen it a little bit and just push it down a little with my uh, blow dryer on, on a low setting to get it to lay down so that I could get the part open for y'all to see the part. But I did get it open, so that's a good thing. Okay, so here's the ear tabs. I have good coverage around the face. I love the rooting on this color because it works on me, even though I'm, you know, a natural brunette. So really, really pretty. Okay, I'll pop her off. We can look at her interior cap construction. All right, I'll show you that part up close. So there you go. Looks nice. Like I said, it had a zigzag and it was kind of tight to get out, so. Okay, so she has a left mono part, goes back to the crown, which is nice, looks very natural. Temple to temple lace front, looks good. She has the soft felt ear tabs with a nice piece of metal in there, plenty of hair for off the face styling. And actually her off the face, I noticed on this, especially on this side, is very, very natural looking, which I was really pleased with. Um, open wefted cap. She does have the pull adjusters. And like I said, I did have to pull those in some for my petite circumference, a little less on this side, I guess. Okay. Here's my a little complaint. No extended nape. She has a seven and a half inch nape and the nape is not extended. So that's kind of a bummer in my opinion, but just let me all know. This is the soft felt here, you know, but it's not extended. So that's just something you have to keep your eye on when you put her up in a pony or something like that. Okay, and she has plenty of stretch, you know, to stretch up to lots of circumferences. So, really nice. Okay, let's take a look at this beautiful blonde. This is Butterbeer Blonde, very, very popular. <laughs> Probably one of their most popular blondes. So, very, very pretty color. So, it is a rooted color, which is nice. Uh, the description of Butterbeer Blonde is it is a sandy blonde, an ash blonde, and a light blonde blend. 
with a medium brown root. And that is exactly what I'm seeing. The root is slightly warm, not super, you know, warm. Doesn't reflect, you know, doesn't look reddish or anything like that. And of course you can see your rooting down in front of your face. They do put some of the lighter strands there, but you can see the rooting behind those light strands. And then anywhere you separate the hair, you're gonna see that rooting. So if you're putting it up, pulling it back, half up, half down, putting in a headband, whatever, that rooting is going to show, so. The color with less light. So here's this Butterbeer Blonde out here under my patio cover. The natural light, very bright and sunny today. There's your lace front, that mono part. Okay, here we are in the sun. We'll step into less direct light. Her movement is pretty. Okay, let's look at glasses and styling and all that kind of stuff. So she's very easy to tuck behind the ears because of her low density. Not a problem. And you know, that's great also because like if you're at the office or whatever and you need to look down at your paperwork and you don't want hair flopping in your face, she's very easy to get out of, you know, get out of your way temporarily like that. So glasses are easy, no problem. Glasses go up on the head very easily. You know, sunglasses, whatever. And like I said, let me show you that again. I really like, see how good it looks off the face on this side? Looks really good. And it looks, looks good over here too. This type, side tends to swoop over. But I, was, I, I don't know, that's a really nice hairline. I haven't seen a really nice hairline like that on a synthetic, you know, just, it just looks very, very real. I really like that, so. Okay, so, cue the headband, and I would pull out this pretty little wave right here. You know, just get a little wave around your face, maybe. And you can give her a little bit of, you know, zhuzhing and get a little more volume behind that headband. looks cute. So then of course she works great for like a half up half down with just a little you know claw clip or barrette or something. She looks really cute like that and then she can do an updo. She's got enough length for it but again be mindful that you don't have that extended nape so just make sure you pull that nape down get it nice and flush. Um, you know you can even put a little piece of tape back there if you want to but I, I don't think that would really be necessary so because I think once you get the once you get the style in it and you make sure that your nape is laying down, I think it's gonna be fine. So, but she's cute in a pony. You know, you could do a twist, do a cute little updo with her. You know, so she's really really pretty. She's very versatile. She's got a lot of you know potential for styling. And then of course you know you've got a nice lace front, so you can just pull her back. You know, off to the side. You could put a little braid. You could do you know all kinds of cute stuff like that. You could even take this front part, put it behind your ear. You know. So, so really, really cute. She's fun to style, she's fun to play with, and but then she's just a great also everyday length, which I really, really like about her. So I wanna thank Pinky Promise for sending this wig to review for you all today. There will be purchase information below this video. So until next time, take care of yourselves and don't forget, you are absolutely beautiful. Bye.